Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm IT Explosive One. Trust me, I'm starting the time. You don't see it, but it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> All right. TNT. Why? Um, so, you know, not everybody has good parents right like some <laughs> yeah, okay. some parents are are crappy parents hey, dude look, it's a hard job man nobody's perfect Let's right put it like exactly that. so like do you did you know or do you know growing up or even now people that like either like you when you were growing up you knew they had bad parents or people that you know now as adults that you're like yo your parents must have been kind of crappy like because of like mannerisms or things that they like express like, do you think that's a reflection of their bad parenting or have how they've grown like as an adult? Yeah, you know, wow, this is this is a deep one, man. There's a lot of different branches, <laughs> right? That, right. That, that my crumbling. mind wants to go yeah, off exactly. Um, I will have to say that while the sins of the father, obviously, you know, parenting does it, it puts certain things on a person that they retain until they're an adult. But by the time you're an adult, it, the onus is on yourself. That's what I would have to say. Yeah, yeah. I've I've run okay. into some bad parents. Like if you've ever known that friend who had roaches or whose parents were hoarders. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. So let's let's go that route, I guess. Then. All right. Because I agree with you. Like even if you were, I mean, granted, it's trauma's trauma. It's trauma's hard to get through sometimes. Like, but you should, you know, as an adult, that's you to work on your own stuff. Exactly. But like, did you have friends when you were a kid? Not naming names. That, like you went over to their house and you're just like. Yo, your mom or your dad, you're okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so I used to I used to play Dungeons and Dragons as as a young child. Okay. And a uh, little little Dynamite Junior, and I remember going over to this this one dude's house and there was stacks of newspapers and like the sink was just like full of dirty dishes and it <laughs> smelled like cat piss, dude. Yeah, and dude. Just, right. Like, dirt and animal feces and you're, you're now you're gonna say like what well, well how'd you go in the house well dude i wanted to play D and we Whoa. went we would go straight through the house and into the basement right and the basement was you know unkempt but it's more acceptable well that was like the kid's the room or his space to play yeah, yeah. i mean well, it was also the laundry area oh, and storage yeah. area you got to keep the rest of your old newspapers in the basement <laughs> right right yeah, yeah right for, by the for, washer so yeah. in case you want to Use look them. at them. Yeah, you know, right? look at what happened on a date that doesn't matter in the past. Yeah, yep, like yesterday. Looking back in my past, like I guess like most of my friends when I went over to their house, their houses were pretty clean. But like I think like even like you know, I remember going over to like maybe like one of my parents' friends' houses or something yeah. and like you walk you walk through certain areas and you're like I feel stuff on my feet, yo, like is there like <laughs> are, your, are your floors not clean, homie? Like, and looking back at that, you know, thinking like at the age I was when this was happening, yeah. those parents are probably my age now or a little younger than yeah. I was then. And I'm like, do I keep a better house than like my parents' friends' parents kept when like they when I was a kid and went over to their place? Like, yes, you know. And yes, I'm like, well, do. why? I'm like, why were they so dirty? Were they as dirty as I'm imagining them? Why did I not recognize yes. it was dirty when I was a kid? Why is there dog food all over the floor? Like, you know, like, <laughs> it's. Why is that laundry basket that's been sitting there for the last month and a half still sitting there? <laughs> right. We come over here every Sunday. Why has nothing changed in this yeah, house in three months? Yeah. Like, Except it's gotten dirtier. <laughs> that's what I usually see. Yeah, man. So, like. Yeah, so I don't know, man. Like a lot of kids that come out of that type of lifestyle, you would think that either they would become like clean freaks or they would be like a, a twice as bad. Yeah, because <laughs> they parents. get whatever they think. Oh, this is normal, and then they can let it get worse. Because I think like every kid when they get their first opportunity to be on their own yeah. is kind of messy. Because like you don't have like I think we don't realize how much like our mom or dad cleans up after us and stuff. Like yeah. you know, granted, like not everyone's parents do that, but I feel like. It's easier sometimes for like your mom or your dad, whoever you live with, to just pick up your dirty dishes than make you come out and get them every single time or whatever. <laughs> but when you have, have no one in, doing that for you, I had to come and get mine. <laughs> yeah, like it's. Well, I mean, I've had roommates that like you go into the room and you're like, "Do you use a trash can? Like, why is everything like? Why is it so stacked up with crap in this room? Like, you know, there's a garbage can in the kitchen, right? Like, it's only no. three foot away from you." <laughs> <laughs> we all know we know the guy i'm thinking of we oh hamburglar yeah dude. oh yeah dude ridiculous ridiculous how bad you keep that room 
Did you ever have that friend who would just like curse his mom out? Uh, or you'd just you'd be like, shut up, mom, you dumb bitch. <laughs> I never had like, anybody what? disrespect their mom that bad. What? I had a friend one time, dude. He uh he had his his bedroom and uh, he had like a really big stereo system for unreasonable reasons. I guess because he was a 15 year old kid and we were playing Madden for uh, PlayStation one or something. I don't know. And you know how terrible the sound on Madden is. It's just like piped in crowd noise and fake. Music. Right. And it was old. So it was even more manufactured. And he, me and him were playing a game of Madden against each other. And he turned his stereo up full blast. And his mom comes down, starts pounding on his door. Cause it's like, it's so effing loud, dude. And it's mm -hmm. like the worst sound ever. And all this kid did was be, he just kept saying, what, mom, I can't hear you, and just kept going. And she's like, dun, 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 dun. turn that down. He's like, what, I can't hear you. We're just like playing this game. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you who it was, and I'm sure you won't, you won't uh, be surprised. And uh, you know, I just remember being like, if I did that, my mother would murder me. Yeah. Like, like after my friend left, she would yeah. like smack me across yeah, the face. Yeah, you, you're getting grounded <laughs> yeah. at least. If not, yeah, if not, yeah. <laughs> like, what the hell were you doing, dude? Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, I've never anybody blatantly just be like, "Mom, you're a dumb bee, dude. Like, get the f out of here." I feel like I, I've had friends who swear in front of their mother for sure. Yeah, and I that, mean, I can now, but I didn't when I was a kid. Yeah, and that ish wouldn't have flew in my household. No, 100%. I couldn't swear at my parents at all. I know. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Have you ever had a? Have, <laughs> I know you didn't. All right. Okay. But have you ever like have your parents catch you doing the dirty dozens with a young with a young female? Oh, oh. Uh, when, when you were also a young male, of course. No, because I didn't really have chicks over at my house. Yeah. Like a lot when I was like living with like my parents, I just would like do whatever. So, um, <laughs> but no, like. Uh, no, I never. I never had my mom uh, walk in on anything. No, or you never. You never had your friends. Any, any of your friends do that? No, dude, we both know a person who used to do the dirty dudes with with his girlfriend, with his parents in the house all the time. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I always thought that was weird. But yeah, but like it's. I mean, I guess it's. I don't know. It's what kind of. Uh, but here's the thing: if you're like. If I was like 16, 17 years old and, and having sex with my girlfriend, I would have done it at my house with my parents' home. Hey, yo. It, what? Would you really? Yeah, absolutely. I would have. Like, don't come in my room, yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even yours. You don't own it. How do you get this? Yo. Whoo, this is why I don't have children. <laughs> <laughs> and that's probably the same mindset it. like our friend had. He's you like, don't yo, mom, don't come in here. But he also that, went that two stages on loner deep. Until he went, you turn 18. He went in his room and then into a sub room. <laughs> a sub room. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. So I, I did. I dated a girl one time when I was in my 20s. So like a couple years yeah. ago. And uh, she was she was probably like 19, 18 at the time or whatever. And she still lived with her parents. Right. Um, and we would go to her house, which was a trailer. And, <laughs> and she was a country girl. Nice girl, though. Very attractive. Okay. And, like, I met her parents, and it was weird for obvious reasons. Okay. Uh, demographical, racial, <laughs> ethical. Demographical. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you whatever. You know, whatever. Why'd you bring this city boy in here? <laughs> nah, that wasn't the word he was thinking of in his head. <laughs> but... <laughs> Fill in the blank with city boy. Yeah, it was this. He was a hardworking man. He wore overalls and a hat, dude. Oh, wow. Was like, yeah. Is it a straw hat? Should have been. No, not a straw hat. But like, dude, <laughs> the ones with like the trucker netting in the back. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. a MAGA hat. <laughs> <laughs> a MAGA hat of his day. But she would always be like, oh, yeah, just come in my room. And she would close the door. And I'd be like, yo, I would be like, if I was her, if I were dad. And I saw me coming in to go in my daughter's room and close the door. I would kick my ass. Wow. I would. I'm okay. sorry. I'm all sorry. Right. I took up the last. I'm sorry. It's all right, dude. I feel that was a good story. <laughs> Overall, man, wanted to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazetown.com if you like it and subscribe to our channel. Jonas. TNT. Oh, we out.